Hi, today we're in the Trops Kitchen in Paran and we're with Sam and Sam's going to make us a delicious recipe today. Sam, what are, we, what are we in for? Today I'm going to showcase a whole lot of different living foods. So we've talked a little bit about raw food in the past and the elements of it. This is a recipe designed around the living cuisine. I'm going to showcase some of the beautiful ingredients that I work with on a regular basis. The title of this recipe is a salad of sea vegetables with kelp noodles and zucchini noodles. And it's an absolute crack a nap. You're going to love now. this. He's already watering. Alrighty. Let's get started. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to some of the palate that um, makes up the food as medicine and the, and the healing foods based around this, uh, this recipe. So firstly, we're going to look at the sea vegetables. I've got some arame here. Mm. So arame is a Japanese seaweed. And the seaweeds are especially good for tonifying um, the mineral content and tonifying most of the organs, particularly for looking after the kidney energy because they're mm. black. Excellent. So you talk about black foods in your yes. Chinese And medicine. the kidneys are also particularly um, where we look at for hormone issues as well with Chinese medicine. So right. okay. a lot of balancing of the hormones is done via the kidneys. And of course we know from our understanding of adrenaline that the adrenal glands live on top of the kidneys. So if we look after the kidneys, our adrenal support and system is going to be okay. So this is a rame. I'm going to soak that in a moment just to, to reconstitute it. The other seaweeds we're using is a mixture here. We've got dulse and I've got wakame. This is a Tasmanian wakame grown organically in Tasmania. And there's a little bit of, of another seaweed, which is my favourite, called hijiki. Yum, I love hijiki. So the seaweeds <laughs> are fabulous because they are, they're twofold. They're, actually, they're multifaceted. They're very rich in minerals extremely rich and most importantly they de detoxify anything they go near. Mm -hmm. So if we put a little bit of uh, seaweed in our legumes when we're cooking them, it helps to detoxify the legumes. It he helps to detoxify most conventional mm. produce. It's not going to detoxify the entire lot, but a few strands of seaweed in, in daily food, in daily life yeah. is a great thing to have. We've got a, a mixture of gamazio here. This is a black sesame seed. So again, we look at the black foods to help to tonify the kidney energy. Combined here, we've got some Murray River salt, which is the pink salt you may know of, mm -hmm. with sesame seeds. And Do you buy that? No, I make or it. You make and it, I right. make it with a with with this um, seaweed here called dulse. Okay. So this is called gomazio. Goma in Japanese means sesame seed. Okay. So it's a, a, a black sesame seed salt. We're going to use a little bit of. Yum. This little number here. I this love is, this. This is, is really a pretty. This is called E3 Live, okay. and it comes from Oregon in the states. And it's very iridescent, it's very shimmery. So pretty. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? So we're going to add a little bit of that at the end, just for um, boosted uh, mineral content and to boost the antioxidant component of this dish as well. Very alkalizing. And you might find that in some of your smoothies if you go to superfood smoothie mm -hmm. places. Some nuts and seeds here, some activated almonds, which so we'll talk about. Sam, go. I want to ask though, because yes. a lot of people don't understand with activating, why do we activate? From my perspective, we activate to, to put the nuts and seeds through a renaissance, through an enzyme renaissance. So the nuts and seeds, depending on what you're using, are soaked in water up to 4 to 12 to 24 hours, depending on which ingredient you're using. As they absorb, hopefully, really good quality filtered water, they then start to germinate again. So it brings about a sprouting process, such as such as this so might They become grow alive up to again. They don't become they? alive. Yeah. They're a living yeah. food. They make up the living. So they live cuisine. up to their name. They live up, up to their name. So it's activated. You know, <laughs> they become a superfood. So these are pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, and they're activated as they're well. They're activated. Yep. And you can tell an activated usually because it's a little bit crunchy. Yeah. So you might like to have a little chat and chew with that, Nat. See? Can yeah. you hear the crunch? Can you hear the crunch, yes. And you can taste it. You can taste it. <laughs> they taste good. <laughs> Tell it over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of controversy or a lot of inquiry, I guess, about why you're paying more for activated nuts and seeds. But you can do it yourself. And you can do it yourself. Mm. Absolutely. You can just do it in a dry oven. You don't need to have a dehydrator. My yeah. husband was really impressed when I had the oven on for 12 hours overnight. He loved that concept. Except there was nothing in it that he could have. <laughs> and then he got to the end and like, are these supposed to taste any better? And I'm like, well, they just taste different. And I like them. They add crunch and <laughs> texture. They do add crunch. Then we've got some beautiful um, sprouts from my sprout lady up in Byron Bay. So these have been, uh, they've travelled with me. They've kind of imported, but they've been, they've travelled <laughs> with me in lunch. Imported from Byron. Imported from Byron Bay. <laughs> 
purely because I've just arrived. No, not at all. Um, so there's some soaked almonds that haven't been activated, but again, for the same reason, yeah. we, we sprout legumes, nuts and seeds to bring about that living quality, to but reignite also their energy. It helps with digestion as well. When they're soaked, they're much easier to digest. A lot of people find it very hard before, sure. um, with raw almonds anyway, they find it very hard to, not just almonds, raw nuts and seeds, to digest them, especially people that have got issues with their gut, you know, leaky yes. gut and these sorts of conditions. So it's always, I always advise, advise patients to soak, if better, activate. Absolutely. Yeah. And remember, a lot of the nuts that we get in Australia are imported. Mm -hmm. A lot of them come from Turkey, the Middle East, so, and so forth. And they're often on dry dock prior to arrival in Australia. And then they're often, or they are, in quarantine for some time. So there's a huge process. More importantly, they're shelled before they're shipped. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you remove a nut from the shell, it loses its, you know, it's like taking a child from the womb too early, protection. you know. It's protection. Mm, okay. It's a whole embryonic process. So they're the ingredients that make make up this. We've mm -hmm. got some kelp noodles here, Nat. They look yummy. They, this look, is, they look chewy. Are, they look chewy and mm. they, they, they're like uh, vermicelli, but they're yeah. actually made out of seaweed. They're about four calories if you're one of those calorie counters. Okay. No, I know, but some people are curious about that, <laughs> aren't they? And doubles up as a little pillow when you're on the aeroplane. Yes, I know, we're in deep, deep trouble. <laughs> so we're going to use them because most people love pasta and when they come to the healing foods or start to investigate the healing cuisines, they miss their pasta and they miss their complex so carbohydrates. It's a great so alternative. It's a great alternative, especially really? when I give it a bit of a culinary touch-up in a moment. You're yeah. going to love what I do. So they're the kelp noodles. I've got some more sprouts here. These are sunflower sprouts. And you Yum. can still see that there's a little bit of a sunflower attached to them mm. somewhere. There's a few. Oh, see? They pretty. just popped out of there. Okay, They're I see. sweet. Mm. So green and alkalizing. We talk a lot and about life. alkalinity and living. Mm. So these are the elements of our living cuisine. But probably the most fun thing we're going to do today is make zucchini noodles. I know. Wait till you see I'm this. so excited. Matt hasn't I, just, seen I haven't this. seen this before, okay. so. Go no, on. Blow me away, Sam. Okay, <laughs> so this little whiz-bang machine is a spiruli. Where do you we'll, get that from? You get that from our friends at Royal Pleasure, okay. and we'll give you a link for that. And what we do with this, we take the top off a zucchini, give it a little bit of a brush down, and then we put one end here, and then we put the teeth here, and Nat might like to do this once no I get the ball way. rolling. And it's a bit like roll out the barrel kind of thing. You can keep rolling and I'll, I'll catch rolling. it the other end. Oh, great idea. How about that? So it's like... Can you do this with... Candy, what other spaghetti. vegetables could you do you this with? You can do it with carrots, you can do it with beetroot, you can do it with most long starchy vegetables. It works best with this. Cucumbers are a little bit watery, but they'll hey, do a little bit. I kids love this. I know. They'll kids go mad because it's a candy spaghetti. This. You did it with, and mm. I can guarantee so many people enjoy this kind of cuisine at, at our health retreat. <laughs> And then they say, I can't believe there's no pasta in there. Mm. They're just That's dumbfounded. Okay, because we're just opening up the eyes and the possibilities, aren't we? To, so we're making endless. our own zucchini noodles. And we have to give them a haircut in a minute because yeah. they get pretty long. Okay, I'm getting there. If you don't have one of these machines, don't panic. You could just grate the zucchini on your conventional cheese grater. Like, For now. Oh, what's but then there? it's okay, we're just oh. having a bit of a meltdown. <laughs> so it's all good, sister. Don't worry. Okay. So, so it's all rolling out the other end. And we no. don't use that. You can save that for a nose of some kind or whatever you want to do with that. So that's the Whizbang Zucchini Maker. Can you throw that over there? Sure. Thank you, my friend. And then from here, with our kitchen scissors that we know and love, just give them a little bit of a trim so when you go to serve them to your friends and guests, you don't get dressing all over. They'll, you don't have to give them a bib. They don't suck it up and it that's flings right. them in the face. That's like, it's like going out to, have, to have pasta on your first date, isn't it? And there's more pasta on the chin than there, there is in the mouth. Okay, so then we're going to marry the kelp noodles. So easy. So easy. So easy. It's, you it's, almost, a few... it's almost just, it's, it's, a, it's assembling, isn't that's it? That's right. It's not, it's not really cooking. No. It's just... Putting it all together hey, and... don't give away all my trade secrets. It's not really cooking. It's uncooking. It's uncooking. It's uncooking. Okay. Amazing. So that's the foundation of it. Now we just need to put a little bit of water onto our sea vegetables. So we'll use... We won't use that bit of dulse because that's quite a chunky bit. Well, that's already in there, That's isn't already it? in there. But mm. we'll just pour a few strands of arame. Maybe not all of that. It was me. I've just had some, some warm water here. I sound like twisties. I Just do, let that they? soak for a moment. Okay. Well, I that, do I you can do, do that. that. You can play with that. Sure. She'll love Yum. to do that. I would. And you can just use your own salad dressing. 
But for the simplicity of this recipe, so I'd really love you to be able to make it at home and maybe we can have you all send in your own version photograph of this. Yeah, but just yeah. to be able to do it at home, put some lime or lemon juice. Obviously, I'm using a lime here. And if you don't have one of these, rush out and get one. They're only a few dollars. And the best things to travel with is just a handheld citrus juice. So do you have one of these? I don't. They're great when I you need go... lemon and hot water in the morning, <laughs> particularly if you travel a lot and you stay in hotels. I'll just put and... my goggles on, Sam. Is that all right there? You right there? <laughs> Lucky I haven't cut my finger, otherwise <laughs> I'd be squealing. So I've got lime juice. Let's toss that through there. Now, we did rinse the noodles. We washed off a bit of the starch and the water just reconstitute the, um, the glass noodles or the kelp noodles. A little bit of macadamia nut oil. As my lovely friends at Brook Farm, and they're up in the Byron Bay area. And this is delicious, this oil too. You it's gave me some last time. It's beautiful. It really is. Mm. So they have a couple of different varieties, but just the plain oil for this one. How's that seaweed coming along? It's pretty good to me. Great. What's it supposed to look like? It's supposed to look just like that. <laughs> so just a little bit of the sea vegetable through it. Yum. And good, that, huh? It tastes great too. And then Nat might like to cut a little bit of ginger off. Mm -hmm. Will you just put it in there like that? Do we... Yeah, if you just cut a little slice there and just take some of the peel off and mm -hmm. then just a tiny little um, shred of that. And with our almonds, I'll just do a couple, but I'm actually going to cut them lengthways because we want the greater surface area here. So if we chop them, the, the dressing or the full flavours of the salad get diluted. So if we put the half almond in... Sam, am I going to slice these into little bits? Yes, that's plenty. Yeah? Yes, you can oh. julienne that. That's what they say in, in cooking that. land, don't I they? Yeah. I knew that's exactly what I was. And doing. then they say things Chopping like plate. Them into bits. Then they say things like plate up. Do your children say plate up yet? No, they just say please, mum, hurry up. <laughs> 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 hurry up, I'm not plate hungry. up. <laughs> the amount of people I've met in the last few years because ago, they've been watching all these fabulous I cooking know, shows on TV and being inspired. But this is the most fabulous one this now, is, isn't this it? This is living food. This is living food. This is living. That's right. Okay, so we've got a few token almonds there. We'll put a few more in. There you go. We've got oh, our pepitas. So what are our pepitas good for? And our nuts and seeds. Well, I said before they're excellent for digestion. Yes. What about essential fatty acids? Yes. That what do we need those for? Um, everything. Yes. <laughs> so hair, skin, nails, neurotransmission, mm -hmm. hormone regulation. Yes, especially that. Well, Keeping us happy. To... That's what you're interested in. Happy, healthy hormones. Happy, absolutely. healthy, or not happy. That's hard to say. Yeah, it is a little bit hard to say. Happy, healthy hormones. What else do we okay, have? Okay, we need some them? sprouts. We'll have all, sprouts, all of them. I think okay. we'll have all of those. What else can I add for you? You could add those curly bits. Oh. <laughs> the other sprouts? The other sprouts. Otherwise known as sprouts. Anything Otherwise known as sprouts. No, I think that's. That's nearly it. Yum. So, we're ginger? going to... Yeah, you can put that in. All of it? Yeah, and then we've got some magic ginger as well. Magic ginger? So I'm going to pop this on the plate while we finish the dish. So it's very simple. You do need to have a couple of those ingredients. Zucchinis, obviously, are available all year round. You might like to order the kelp noodles in. But your kids will eat this. Yeah. My kids would eat this. And if you want to add... Especially because they think it would be pasta. Yeah, exactly. You know, you put spaghetti on a plate and the whole mm, house goes plate. nuts. So most importantly, you can add a protein, more protein of your choice if you wanted to. So this is the beginning of it. From here, we're going to add the E3 Live to boost the mineral content. And to make it look really And pretty. to make it look almost Christmassy wow. if you were having a green Christmas. And we've got some gamazio. This is a combination of black sesame seed, the Murray River salt, and what else did I say? Seaweed, the dull seaweed. seaweed. Yes. So a little bit of gamazio to season it. I've got some beautiful pickled ginger here from my friend Tricky. She makes this at the farmer's market or sells it at the farmer's market. So this is just like your Japanese pickled ginger. Ours isn't as pink, obviously, because mm. we don't use a food dye. So just a few shards or threads of pickled ginger because it's got this lovely pick one, a slightly soury, spicy Yum. component. Very and good to help to, you know, kind of and, and invigorate blood. Yeah, and stimulate digestive mm. fire, get everything moving, and anti-inflammatory, mm. isn't it? And it is. for those that like a shiitake mushroom, this is a fresh shiitake mushroom. We'll just put a few slices on the side, which you can incorporate more into yours at home if you like mushrooms, because there's often someone in the family that doesn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Edible flowers, just to make things all pretty and pretty, girly. Yeah. 
because we like the girly thing on Health Talks. That looks amazing, Sam. It totes amazing. Well, and just yes. while we've got oh. them, only in season now, so in season, beginning of spring, and that's all. So we're not actually cooking with these, but these are zucchini flowers. They kind of live on top of there once upon a time. <laughs> so a little zucchini flower, and this is our wow. living cuisine, a salad of sea vegetables, kelp noodles, and zucchini I noodles. I can't wait to taste this. That looks amazing, yeah, Sam. Yeah, we'd love and to see your version, wouldn't absolutely. we? Absolutely. And with all of our recipes, we'd love it if you want to make it and share it with us. Pop it on our Facebook page, and so we can we can run maybe a competition, um, and you can you can share with us your ability to make Sam's amazing salad. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Thank you.